All right, hello everyone. I'm Jeff, we're here. Now Dan, when I think about the evolution of music, when I think about who is on the cutting edge of evolving music and staying current with the trends, I think of Dan Riker. That's, I, yeah, I hear that a lot, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this that's hot new band, Parliament Funkadelic. Parliament, yeah, they're, they're yes. very huge. It's, so that's, that's why I brought you in here to look at Fantasia. Great. I, Dis, Disney Fantasia. I love Colon, Disney. I love music popular evolved. music. I, yeah. Disney seemingly like the most megalomaniacal publisher in the world. Can't be bothered to put out a game without slapping Disney in the name of it. Yep. Uh, but this is Fantasia uh, from the people at Harmonix. We know... A lot of the guys and gals over there have been working on this for something like 90 years or something now. And, that's, the, uh, that's the thing is uh, they are a very talented team and uh, as much as this game screams to me that it's not my kind of game, I have faith that, you know, they, they put out good products, you know, so. Sure, yeah, yeah, for the most part, yeah. So I'm trying to come into this as open-minded as possible. Um, I have not played it or seen anyone live play the, the final product or anything, so. Well, if you saw it at any point in development, that's the game it is. I it, see. It's, uh, let's, it's uh, a mix between conducting and, let's call it, hand dancing. You seem like a big Para Para Paradise fan. Uh, more Samba de Amigo guy. Okay, so all right. This is that without the uh, maracas, without the, maracas. Or the cool monkey guy? Yeah, basically, yeah. So the things I liked about Samba de Amigo. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can remix the music. Have you ever wanted to hear Bruno Mars, but electro more electronic? No. Disney Fantasia, music evolved. So we're in the middle of a song here, actually. It's the oh, Police. Uh, you probably you, they, they're a good band. Yeah, I like the Police. So tell me about what you're doing here, Jeff. I am. See the arrows on the screen? The I darts, do. I guess they call them. When the 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 shiny things get to that part of the screen, I move my arms in those directions. It doesn't matter, like it's not like the stuff on the left side of the screen doesn't need to be my left arm or, or my right arm from the right side or anything like that. I can kind of just do whatever I want it. So is this following in the rock band and dance central tradition of, hey, hit these right and you'll get like a star rating? Is it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you get uh, you get score. There's also those pushes, which I just missed that one. That's the little uh, softballs hit the right? Yeah. Okay. This is like the first song in the game. I always okay. kind of lost a save uh, where I had gotten a little bit further in, but man, this game takes forever to get going. What takes uh, so long? Like, I don't I don't know, like, did someone think that it was like these mechanics were difficult? I mean, granted, I'm not hitting every single one, but, uh, but I, like, it just goes every step of the way. It is like, and now here's what a push is. And now here's what, like, there, it seemed like there needs to be something in there that says like, I'm not 12 like or an idiot. Like a five tutorial for yeah. this. Basically. <laughs> okay. This actually, uh, I like this song. This one always bugged me in Rock Band because at the end, Sting really wants to let you know that he's sending out an SOS like 400 times. Yeah, yeah. It goes on for a while. So what does this have to do with Fantasia? So I guess like to hear them tell it, uh, the whole concept of Fantasia was originally designed to be something that was updated with the times. Uh, and meant to kind of reflect, you know, music. The movie stuff. was? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like it was originally something that they, you know, weren't necessarily viewing as, uh, you know, just a static thing, that they would change it over time and, and keep it, uh, you know, addressing it. So I guess like their whole thing was like, you know, after finding this out, um, digging through like, I don't know, Walt Disney's vault or whatever they have. Uh, finding his frozen head and asking it what it thought about Fantasia. Um, at some point, it said some very nasty things that really, really, you would think that he would know better. But, oh my goodness. Um, but then it said, like, hey, you should make a Fantasia video game or whatever it said. Okay. Um, and so I guess, like, they're approaching this from the perspective of, like, what if, you know, Fantasia was being made as this original kind of updated concept? Like, kind of what would it be? And maybe it would be this kind of video game where you're sort of conducting and kind of remixing the music. But like, you know, the if you think about Fantasia, you think about Mickey Mouse kind of I the just, Sorcerer's Apprentice kind of. Yeah, the brooms doing stuff. Conducting, doing whatever. They made a Fantasia 2000, right? They did. I didn't see it. I don't know. I, I saw that. I think I saw them both once. And uh, I guess 2000? Was that their attempt at like, was that like with popular music of 2000? I was don't it know. All, like, I, yeah. 
Yeah, punch the cue. I'm, I'm feel like I'm doing it. Thank you for the tip, screen. Hey, how, do kids like Fantasia now? Like kids of today? I don't think they know what Fantasia is. That's the thing. But... I bet if you asked, you know, a hundred kids between the age of like 12 and 15, they would all say like, "Oh, Fantasia said you're only one American Idol a few years ago." Like, I can't imagine this is. Maybe she's in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. Okay. Huh. I, I don't know that Fantasia is like a thing that, like, yeah, that, like, you know, capitalize on modern whatever, but, you know, it does have a legacy, and generally people seem to like Disney, I guess, so it probably still <laughs> works. Okay. And, and so Mickey Mouse is not in this game that you've seen, right? Um, I, the, the hat is. I'm getting stars for the hat right now. Um, I don't know if Mickey Mouse is in it or not. Okay. The, the, hat, the blue wizard hat, right? With yeah. the stars and moon and I stuff I feel like I'm it. not hitting the punches. Maybe, I, I don't know if it's like a closed fist thing. I was doing them with, you know, force pushes. It's usually, home. it's usually a safe bet to just blank connect. You um, might be underwater, but I guess you're not out of your depth. Who are you talking to here? What's the story? Some fucking British guy. Time to report back to Jens. Who wants to tell you how to play the game? It's just like, get on with it, dude. Get on with it, dude. Is this still in the like, hey, learn how to play this type thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that was the first, this is the first full song of the campaign. You don't choose, so you don't you don't get to say, hey, I want to do Message in a Bottle. Um, so unfortunately, we're still going to probably be introduced to concepts. Uh, but when you do get into the game, you kind of go into these different uh, worlds and you get to kind of play around. Uh, there are little things, you know, you kind of just do little connect toys and, you know, make the fish move around and make little music. Okay. You make little music. Gotcha. Uh, have you seen the full track listing? It's out there. I, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I can't tell you that I'm like super up on it. I saw the title screen. I was kind of surprised to see like you know Hendrix and some like. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it's a mix. You know, so they've got kind of the classical stuff that you uh, might associate with the original Fantasia, okay. and then more modern stuff. Education. Queens in here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bruno Mars. Okay. The magic oh, you discover in the realm that? will be stored here. He's a, he's a guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. On so the Bruno Mars fell in the Super Bowl. He seems like a talented dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he, it's like, he's as like Sting. See, your work has really? That, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, what is it? Uh, Locked Out of Heaven song? Is that the one he did in the Super Bowl? Part of it. It was kind of okay. medley, but that Locked Out of Heaven song is just a police song. Okay. Like, just sound of it, top to bottom, like they are trying Imagine to make a police song. I was actually impressed. So I never heard any of his music, and I was like, all right, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a perfectly talented yeah. musician. Yep. Whether you, I, I think Locked Out of Heaven's, a, it's a pretty good, it's like, it's a pretty good police song. All right. I like the police. All right, so we're still in the story mode here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. So it'll kind of show us this new environment, and then there's like a weird, harsh cut at the end of this, like, all right, now we're going to load the song. <laughs> okay. That's weirdly abrupt for something that seems like it's going to open onto the song, and then psh, smash cut to. <laughs> and, yeah. Actually, maybe that patch we just downloaded made that less harsh than it oh, was okay. last, last time I played it. I don't know. Is this officially out this week? So, uh, it was out uh, Tuesday. It was Tuesday. out this week. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, well, now we're going to have to get these push cues right. Go? Okay. You need to hit I have faith in you. Remember what I taught you. I'll try and not punch cross my body because you can see the silhouette just kind of... Remember your training from Ninja Turtles training layer. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I trained for this. This is, this is why we train. <laughs> With them, he is. All right. <laughs> oh, you got the stance and everything. It's going to be a bow mission. The Sorg ski. Oh, this is a classical song. Oh, yeah, I like this song. It's no straight out of Compton. No. No. Their cover was great, though, the yeah. NWA one. There has to be some rap song that sampled this, right? Probably, yeah. I mean, do you feel like you're playing something, or does this seem kind of like an interactive screensaver of sorts? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm totally doing it. It's... But I mean, do you, do you feel challenged? Are you having fun? 
Uh, it's. I feel like this is like so early on, and so right, right. It, it, like it, this is kind of boring. Okay. Um, but when you get into like kind of the little music recording toys that'll pop up mid song and kind of remixing stuff, oh, okay. I do think it's like there's some cool ideas in here. Absolutely. Okay. But you know, like, did you like Owendon on the DS? Of course, he did. Everyone did. What's the name of it? Owendon, I... Elite Beat Agents. I like Elite Beat Agents. Yeah. Yeah. That was it, good. This, it's like. Mechanically similar. Okay. Uh, but you know, connect instead of a touch screen. All right. Um, can you play this sitting down? Is it all hand movements? It is all hand movements. So conceivably, you'd be able to, right? Yeah. Have you spent much time with the uh, Dance Central on Connect, the new one? A little bit. Yeah. Um, it, is it actually better about like smaller apartments and stuff? I don't know. Yes. What yeah. Like. I, I uh, set it up in my bedroom where my bed is most of the shot and stood oh. next to the bed and it still worked. Really? Okay. So I was actually pretty impressed with the like the Connect performance. Okay. Uh, overall, when I played this in the same environment, it was it was pretty much fine. So. It it does seem like it is a bit better than the first one. Like I was playing D four and you know I played it sitting down and it seemed to work all right. Yeah. So you know. Is there any kind of multiplayer in this? Or you, uh, yeah, you can play two-player. Okay. And at that point, you're kind of like in some ways competing for the control of the remixing and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, so at various points, when we're not in, you know, kind of easy mode land here like this, uh, you'll get options to kind of punch the middle and then go out to uh, one of three options that will kind of remix parts of the song on the fly. Okay. Which is kind of cool because you know they, they, you can make kind of a lot of custom variants of these songs, or, or they made the custom parts, and you get to kind of turn them on and off as you see fit, Okay, which is a cool idea. So did you pick like a difficulty when you went into the story mode, or? No. I'm, I'm curious what like harder difficulties look like on this, you know? And, like, is there a fail state at all? I'm not sure if you can fail. Okay. Um, you know, you can certainly only get one star, and I bet that they have, you know, gated progress in some cases based on your performance. Uh, but I don't know that there actually is necessarily like a difficulty. I, I, I can't say for sure. Okay. So you don't have to switch it all left or right? Nope. Okay. I don't even have to open my fingers, I don't think. So, you know, it's like, it's, in some ways, it's like Dance Central if you don't like to actually move that much. I'm not a big fan of moving, no. Yeah. Um, so, you think they're counting on uh, people being big Disney fans for this? I am just, I I'm pretty, trying to picture yeah. the demographic, like, yeah. I guess. So, here's the, oh man, we missed it. So, that's like a trace. So, you punch in and then move your way around. Okay. But of course, I blew it, so. You probably got a got hit on your stars there, didn't you? Yeah. Broke okay. my streak. All that stuff. You've hit the goal. You best take leave of these woods. Like how your hands are all sparkly. Yeah, I got sparkly hands. That's pretty cool. Even I've never seen. Uh -oh, Wait, that's careful now. Careful now. Oh, it's not stars. It's music now. Oh, sorry. Yes. I pulled off an '86. Yeah. Solid B. Not bad for a first time through it while talking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just let me out of. This forced progression, let me pick some songs and play around in the environment. How about that? What do you got? <laughs> there, huh? There's no quick start option at all? It's no like, yeah, hey, I get it. It seems like, it, like this part of it is forced. Okay. Like to get you to understand the nuance. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like this game is like as straightforward as it could get. So like all this stuff, I don't know. I mean, I guess like the whole thing is like it does have a story and characters and stuff. Okay. Um, have you met anyone outside of the Wizard Man here? No There's British guy and Wizard Man. Oh, British they're different guys. guys. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was a British Scott, wizard. My last apprentice. I kind of achieved so much so quickly. You two are quite alike. Saying I'm like Mickey Mouse, I think. 
So you're like the successor to Mickey? Yeah, yeah like what I'm- What did he move on to do? Did he, ret he hung up the boots or? He's just like fucking him out. Yeah? I mean, he was, he's no longer the apprentice. He's, he's out probably doing his own thing. Just signing autographs at Comic-Cons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unfortunate story that Put out an album. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Still. Start his own club. Uh, Alright, he's busy. Mm -hmm. Respect that guy. To the nation. Now we're going to the nation. Okay. See if we can dominate this song. Is that an actual waveform? Hey! Hey! Is it? No, I don't know. Okay. No, I think it's just like whatever part of this pre-rendered intro. Okay. I mean, we could just shout at the Xbox some more, see if anything happens. That's kind of fun. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me pick a song. Play Titanfall. No, don't do that. It'll do it. <laughs> I didn't say this. Okay, all right. Word. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I actually use the voice commands fairly frequently. I do as well. Mm -hmm. I, use it, I definitely use it to turn it on and yeah. off and everything yeah. and go home and all that. This goal's all about hold cues. Remember, you just... Like, it already went through a tutorial kind of where it had me do some of each of one of these. And now to go through and have, like, a goal... Like, this is nuts. I... All right. Okay, here's here's a song. Overplayed, but can't deny this is a great song. Oh, I got a whole, okay. Well, fuck. I love it when people pick this song at karaoke bars and realize like a minute in that they're just way over their heads. Yeah. It's great. Like they know the one part. Yeah, yeah. But not even that well. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times it's like a big group of like 10 people that all go up there and yeah, they just yeah. kind of do the Mamma Mia part. Yep. And, yeah, yeah. Also, just don't pick Queen when you're at karaoke because you're probably not going to be as good as Freddie Mercury. Well, that's I think that goes for most. For most, of them. I guess that's like true. If, if, if that's going to be your your <laughs> attitude, then it's just like I it's guess. just like POD songs all night. <laughs> those are, I don't know what karaoke bars you're going to, but those are that's my right, kind. Yeah, <laughs> just Ray Mysterio's theme over and over. It's the only POD song I know. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> I think the lead singer has dreadlocks. That's a safe assumption. I, mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but yeah, of course. I think my friend had a t-shirt with a picture of that guy on it, and he had dreadlocks. Are you sure you're not thinking of Power Man 5000? No, he had spiky hair. Okay, all right, that's right. Rob Zombie's brother. brother, yeah. I can name more Power Man 5000 songs. <laughs> Deadly Boys came out to that Drop the Bombshell song. Oh, was that? I like that. Yeah, that is Power Man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so terrible. They're so terrible. <laughs> You were uh, talking about High School High earlier. <laughs> the soundtrack for High School High has a cover version of this song by The Braids on it. I saw that because I was looking at the High School High Wikipedia page earlier. Yeah. And it's got Wu-Tang on there. Mm -hmm. It had that Bohemian Rhapsody cover, which I was wondering, like, I couldn't remember what that sounded like. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So you've seen High School High? No, I had the soundtrack. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We saw High School High in the theaters. My dad. I thought the commercial looked good. Yeah, yeah. Sucker Brothers. Where he's playing, was it Rhinestone Cowboy? And yeah, scratching it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I, I'm guessing that movie's not aged well. I'm guessing it was bad at the start. It probably was. The peak of John Lovett's starring roles. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other ones. I think Schneider has had a better yeah, leading yeah, man. Rob, yeah, Rob Schneider, yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, you know, he had uh, Levitt's had uh, what, the critic, his animated show. Yeah, I'm Lovitz. thinking like a big Hollywood star. Sure. Spade had Dickie Roberts and Joe Dirt. Yep. Uh, big Hollywood Schneider. stars like David Spade. Schneider had Deuce Bigelow and The Animal and The Hot Chick. And a lot of like, you know, co-starring roles alongside. Yeah, I'm just Stallone. talking leading man. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We we never got the making copies guy. He never got a movie, which is kind of surprising. Yet, I mean. <laughs> The I mean, book Mary, on that one's not, you know, hasn't been written, man. I mean, if Mary Catherine Gallagher gets a movie, I think Making Copies guy should get one. 
You ever see Joe Dirt? No. I've got it on DVD if you'd like to No, it. no, I, I'm, I'm okay. It's I'm, a pretty I'm funny right. movie. Yeah, I, I'm sure that there are like stuff, there's stuff in it that's probably like pretty awesome. It's pretty but good. I just can't. I don't. <laughs> nope, no spade. You tolerated him in like Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, all right. As the side, the right. straight man sidekick to Farley's. Yeah, wackiness. like he, they could get it done as a duo. Right, right. right. I think it's Dirty Work. Dirty Work is one of the finest comedies ever made. I also own that if you ever need a bargain. No, I, I own Dirty Work. Okay. <laughs> I had to tell Drew about Dirty Work the other day because uh, there's a Rip Don Rickles graffiti. I saw, yeah. Oh, you've seen that. All I right. saw, I've seen the graffiti. It says R.I.P. Don Rickles. Yeah. Don Rickles died. No, he didn't. So I kind of freaked okay. out for a second. Yeah. I was walking back. I meant to look it up. And I was like, holy like, shit, I hope Don Rickles isn't dead. And he's like, who's Don Rickles? Like, oh. oh, God. He's like, oh, legendary comedian. And then I was like, God, what, what is <laughs> I was like, what's something that he might be known for? And he's like, oh, yeah, he was the theater owner in Dirty Work. Yeah, like, oh. that's what he might be known but for. I mean, when you think like, Don Rickles. You think Drew was like watching The Tonight Show with Carson or something else that Rickles would be in? I was like, yeah, he was like best friends with Sinatra. Maybe he's in cars getting coffee. No, he's not dead. Okay, Michael good. He's alive and very old. I take it we've not gotten to the remixing stuff yet. Nope. Okay, because this sounds a lot like Behemoth Ramps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you know, the original version of the songs are still in here. It's not... You're not forced to, you know, get your dubstep or any Rhapsody or whatever they've got. <laughs> I'd assume they're all dubstep. How did we just get through an entire performance of Bohemian Rhapsody and talk about SNL movies and not talk about Wayne's World? I guess you know, it's a little on the nose, don't you think? I just not realize it. All right. All the uh, post release. Versions of Wayne's World where they censored. You did it. Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. No Stairway. Yeah. So, that didn't even make sense then. I know. It just does some weird squealing thing. Like, that's like, not Stairway. <laughs> Damn shame. <laughs> they probably should have made sure they had the rights to that before they. Well, put it in yeah. This giant yeah. movie. I mean, you know, the home video and the rights to all that stuff. It's the same reason why all these wrestling pay per views don't have the original music. Yeah. Baker coming out to his Attitude Era music when it should be American Badass. Exactly. How much money does Kid Rock want that you're like, no, He's a no, we can't man. afford that. He's a successful man. Exactly, which is why for something like wrestling, he should go like, use it for free, baby. That's how I <laughs> imagine Kid Rock would answer that yeah, question. Yeah, probably not far. <laughs> but he would be like smoking a joint while he said that. Yeah. Yeah. He's performing live on Raw. And WrestleMania. He's a wrestling fan. Yeah, I no, take no, it. I'm, I'm sure you. I'm, I'm Adding to the list of reasons I probably want to hang out with Kid Rock. Mm, I don't know, man. Is there any Kid Rock in this? I don't think there's any no Kid cowboy. Rock in this. No, <laughs> this game is not authentic enough for Kid Rock. He only is in <laughs> awesome games like Power Gig. <laughs> Indeed, you're an excellent student. Quite a relief after that last apprentice quit. <laughs> anyway, shut up. One star left. <laughs> okay, one star left. So when we finish this. Uh huh. <laughs> we get to see Disney Fantasia Music Evolved, the video game, as it's actually. <laughs> this will probably be the 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 move ones because it's the last mechanic. The move ones. The ones where you you punch and then have to follow a trail. Is that the one that uh, that came I up? fucked up? Okay, the yeah, yeah. The, the classical, the gotcha. Mountain Ball Mountain. Okay. No, it's okay. It's, I can't hurt you. Okay, all right. Thanks. Whew. But no foot stuff ever. No, no foot stuff ever. Okay. It is that we have you have seen every mechanic in this game. So no clapping, Donkey Kong or Samba de Amigo type stuff. No, no. no. Okay. Um, there are um, yeah path keys. So uh, there are little toys that'll come up mid song where you're kind of like making your own music by like moving your body around. Is it like Wii music stuff where you're just like doing? The no, no, you're thing? just like okay. where your hand is on the screen is affecting the tone of the note or remixing or whatever. Okay. And then you kind of do that and then stand still until it uh, until it takes. And Gary and Rhapsody. 
What kind of knockoff is this crap? I don't know. I guess Rhapsody is probably like a word that existed in music before Queen, right? Yeah, Rhapsody was that, uh, it's, it's like Napster. That's right, that's right. Well, no, Queen actually predates Napster. I don't know about that one. Oh, yep, yep. I'll have to call my dad, but I'm pretty okay, sure. All right. God, Rhapsody, I forgot about that. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, come on. All right, got it. All right, I thought snake. I missed it. Yeah. We've completed the goal. So whatever happens after this, I don't know. kind of reining in my movement a little bit here so because we're pretty close to the connect here okay and I'm thinking that if I stick my arm too far out it's gonna be like your arm disappeared I don't think you got that one you do it with more gusto at home oh yeah yeah <laughs> holding actual conductor baton holding yes conductor baton and a chicken leg actually just two turkey legs really <laughs> but one of them is I've already eaten most of so I can just call it my conductor stick it's my music stick this is the one I'm still eating Okay, <laughs> you're burning calories. Oh yeah. So might as well put some in while you're burning them off. That's yes. That's why I eat on the toilet. <laughs> we should put out some fitness DVDs. <laughs> Make that premium content. It's me and Sean T. Here's real <laughs> hip hop abs. <laughs> All right, more fast-paced stuff going on. Ah! <laughs> I mean, how specific is it? I mean, you're, you're doing pretty much what it tells you to do. I mean, could you just be doing this and it would be oh. fine? Yeah, just go crazy. Just do some of this. It looks, well, no. no. That one hit. That one hit. Yep, I think you got, oh, the left one didn't hit. You're hitting about 80 to 85% of the notes for doing this, I think. Yep. Yep, okay, yeah, you're nailing them all. Well, hmm. all right. There is some semblance that it is tracking what you're doing. Ah, ah. <laughs> Stupid music. <laughs> oh, oh, music is still happening. Where's the three and a half minute edit of this? Where's the radio edit of this one? <laughs> radio friendly unit shifter version of <laughs> Hungarian, Hungarian Rhapsody, <laughs> number two. Jazz hands at the end. Is there, you get bonus for that? Well done. I mean, the bonus is internal at that point. Right. With my magical knowledge. <sighs> Back to the workshop. Oh, oh, oh careful. Oh, oh. 77 and I spent a good chunk of the song fucking around. Yep. I lizzed. Lizzed is the illest. <laughs> I saw a list at the Treasure Island Music Festival. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember much of it. Typical lizzed concert. Yeah, no, everyone was so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I had lizzed to mania the whole time. All right, you made a star in a, in a factory of some sort. Yep, that should be. With your music. Hopefully the last star for the hat, and then it's going to be like, now play the video game. <laughs> Give me some kind of achievement for completing the tutorial. Hey. I feel like I want to play this game in short bursts. Yeah? Uh, such that I didn't finish all of this when I sat down to play it. It was like, I got a couple songs in, I'm like, cool. Found the for a little bit, maybe I'll come back. But the hat also requires a moon. What? I'm trying to think if kids would like this, because I don't really hang out with kids. Moon. I don't really know what the kids <laughs> like anymore. What are the kids into these days? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. So I don't know what children would think of that. Probably. 
So yeah, I don't know if Stone this is a Cold thing. Steve Austin and no, that's for cool pistols. Uh, I don't know. That's what the kids are into, right? <laughs> no, no, that's what cool adult dudes oh, God, are into. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about kids. I think they like eh, SpongeBob's an older thing, right? Sure. Yeah. They like Barney. No, no, I think that was early '90s. The Wiggles. I think that was mid to late '90s, possibly early. Shusha. Don't know what that is. A wonderful Brazilian lady. Or <laughs> I don't know. Booba. Booba. Booba's great. The website went down. Booba Zone's down? Yeah, the Booba Zone was down over the weekend. Just over the weekend, right? Is I mean, like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That I don't know. site and that incarnation didn't respond. Has, I don't know. I'm checking that when I get back to my yeah, desk. Okay. Boobazone.com. It's been in I that thought it form. was boobazone.tv slash or boobas.tv slash zone. If you just search for boobazone on Google, that'll yeah. probably point you in the right direction. Uh, um, like I'm kind of concerned about that because it's been that way for like 10 years. And yeah, maybe you directed a bunch of traffic to it and they realized it still existed and had to shut it down. Maybe you killed the boobazone down. Oh my god, I don't think I could live with myself if I did that. Yeah. Punch forward with one Pure joy. Then quickly sweep up. Okay, this is, this is how you do your transitions. You'll earn a score multiplier for the next section. Boost your multiplier enough, and you'll meet the goal. So is it like Careful set? Though. Like, hey, here's if the dubstep thing, here's the whatever thing, here's a bunch of drums? It's kind of colors, and it's for different parts of the song. So it's more like, here's this is a synthesizer switch. Do you want to stick with what's there, or go with one of the other it's two mixes tricky, for the song? So let's okay. Pressure, Punch, oh, dear. then sweep to perform these switch cues. Keep going. The highlighted instruments will begin to play as you switch them on. We call this the mix switcher. You play any musical instruments, Jeff? Uh, I can. I can write music on a computer and sort of okay. pump, tap out rudimentary garbage on a keyboard. Okay. Um, I took some guitar lessons, but not enough. Guitar is hard. Yeah. Elton! I'm happy they got some Elton in here. It's an eclectic mix, and they've right. done interesting things to some of the songs with their kind of you know remix stuff too. I'm curious to see how they remix this. As a kite by then. I think it might not be letting us remix. It might just be like forcing us to go up all the time. We're going into outer space. There, that's, yeah. On such a time. Oh. It's a weird song. Yes. Like raising your kids on Mars and stuff. Weird. This is an instructional guide for what's to come. Don't raise your kids on Mars by Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> huh? and now the drilling has started again, and now the whole. Building is vibrating. <laughs> I thought that this would have been done by now. Uh, I, I want to die when it shakes like this. It's just <laughs> pretty great. I can get down on the ground if we want the mics to pick it up. I think the mics will probably pick it up in Darvis. Elton John is one of those music artists to me that they're, when they're at their best, it's some of the best damn music you could hear. But then they have like, just so much bullshit. Like, like Elvis. Elvis did so much awesome stuff, and then like 85% of his stuff is like, what the fuck, it's like Christmas and gospel songs? Yeah, like, what do you yeah. do? Like Johnny Cash is like that? Like, yeah, just do normal Johnny Cash stuff. I feel that way about Tupac. <laughs> I need to get into Tupac, Jeff. Can you get me into Tupac? I think that there are, you, you probably have already heard the I, Tupac songs you'd be most likely to enjoy. I just have all eyes on me. They're very popular. You know? Okay. I like uh, Can't See Me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all Eyes on Me is good. Yeah, I just, I feel like there's more to Tupac. I, he's put on the same level as like Biggie and stuff all the time, and Biggie's probably my favorite ever. And I think, I think there's got to be something to Tupac. It's very prolific. And by that I mean he recorded a lot, and after his demise, right, all that stuff got put out, and you're just like, there's a reason why some of this stuff didn't come out, you guys. It's, it's not like with Biggie, like all this stuff afterwards, like ah, there's like two songs I kind of like after he died. Is there any Tupac in Fantasia music? Well? I don't believe so. Okay. 
But I think they do, uh, you know, have support in here for DLC. They could theoretically add songs after the fact. Okay. Oh, I well, wasn't paying attention. Reminds me of, uh, do you ever have that After Dark screensaver pack yeah, for Windows 95? Yeah, all the flying toasters mm -hmm. and all the weird particles and stuff. And you yeah. could change all sorts of little, like, mm -hmm. uh, things about it. I talked about that for so long. After Dark was pretty good. Yeah, there's a Star Trek one. Yeah, I love that. Music has evolved to where it is now indistinguishable from a screensaver, apparently. <laughs> That was the beauty of rock band, is you can take idiots who don't know how to play anything like me and actually feel like, I'm doing something impressive right now. Like, I just beat Ace of Spades on Expert. Right. Five yeah. stars. Yes. Like, yeah. I'm good at this. Well, I mean, you know, there, there's certainly skill to this. If you want to get 100% on stuff, you can play that way. I just, I don't know. I think this is conceptually cool, but I'm not, like, sitting here going, man, I'm going like, to see myself doing a lot of this. Yeah. So if we ever get finished with the tutorial, maybe I'll be able to, you know, pick some different songs and do some stuff. Although, even when it does open up and you can pick songs, isn't it, con you know, conceptually the same type of... Yeah, it's absolutely this. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the end of the game, man. That's, that's the end of the like, song. If this doesn't, like, end and you go like, all right, here's a menu. What do you want to do? Let's go explore underwater. Uh, if there's one more that's like, here's how the music toys work, yeah. we're walking away. Okay. B plus? I'll take it. I'll raise my hand for that. You open? Are you in space now? You are actually... It's you. You're the rocket man. Oh, okay. Is there a monkey there? Are they saying things? I don't know. Pretty sure I just saw some kind of space... <laughs> astronaut... It's kind of fucked up that we just sent monkeys into space. Us in Russia? Oh, we just sent people up there? I know, but like that monkey probably got real scared. He has no idea what's happening. At all. Just That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no concept of what's but happening. But also like no appreciation for the majesty and insanity of what it's be. doing. That was, That's I'm true, it's, which makes it all the more sad. I or think. maybe monkeys are smart enough to tell them, that's where I live. This is, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gets on the radio. Hey geez. guys, how am I getting down again? This is all nice and everything. This is fun. Thanks for like the free ride. No bananas in space. I hate to report it. You got a big sign, right? When you get to space. Yeah, whenever you get to space, it's just like no bananas. Shit. Yes, we have no bananas. It says. It's like oh shit. In the starry night sky. What comes next will challenge your will and determination. But do not worry. Look, beard. Let's do this. With my hat. His name. His name is Yen Sid, which is Disney backwards. I see. I don't know if that's from the original. I don't think I've seen the original Fantasia since it was originally released. You are now ready. Oh, and... Was it like maybe, the 60s or something? Okay, I, I don't know, I don't know. There was some re-release in the theaters. <laughs> there was maybe? 2000, Fantasia 2000. I never, that's I never the one saw I saw that. in the theaters. I have maybe never seen Fantasia. They, it's distinctly <laughs> possible... And when I did see Fantasia, I was so young that, like, I don't know. I, don't I think they re-released it, and I think there might be boobs in it, because I remember seeing it as a kid and being like, You're thinking of heavy metal. This? You're thinking no, of heavy no, metal. No, I haven't seen that. I'm familiar with what that is. But I remember seeing it with my mom being like, my, I'm like a six-year-old here. Am I supposed to be seeing boobs here? <sighs> Come on, Scout. Figure it out. Can I help you? Wait, the, the hat. Are you the new apprentice? Hmm. Interesting. And they should superimpose you here on the screen here. with the hat and have right. it track your head and yeah. stuff. Look, lady, I understand you're lost. Dance Central is that way. Let's just get <laughs> on with it. <laughs> this might just be loading us into one more song. I think I might be done with Fantasia. <laughs> Scout's ideas may be bold, but her enthusiasm over his experience 
I mean, do you, you want me to give the honest answer? Cover the secret of the remix spell. Always. Now, this will be a No? That was Fantasia Music Evolved. To hit the score goal, a Disney to reveal release. A new mix um, eventually, if you keep playing, it appears, seems to open punch, up into something that more resembles to unlock like kind of a harmonics game where it's got, you know, tiers of songs. And like the songs exist in the environment. So you saw like that water environment. Like there's songs that uh, exist there. You kind of go around and do some different stuff there. You know, you go to the different environment, there's different songs there. Like it all kind of goes that way. So instead of getting in your band's van and going to some new venue, you're going to... Yeah, you hand dance your way to... Dimension X now or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, like I wonder if you have to always turn on the instruments at the front of every song. I don't know. Lord. Lord. This is Lord, Lord. yes. Yeah. What? Oh. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings. I'm like, yeah. And I'm not proud of my address. In the torn up town, no postcode envy. But every song's like gold teeth, gray goose dripping in the bathroom, bloodstained fall. I'm worried that since I'm going to Kansas City this weekend, that they're going to be playing this song oh, God. constantly. Oh, huh, yeah, huh? They probably will, won't they? I'm going to be watching the Royal Kansas Bars. And I, yeah, I would hope so. And she wrote this because of a George Brett picture she saw. So they're probably going to be playing this all the time, I bet. Really? Mm hmm. I kind of liked this song before, but <laughs> he said he was looking at a picture of George Brett and then just saw the like, like you do, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> longingly, yeah, New Zealand. <laughs> like, oh, George Brett. Okay, so here's a remix of the song. Oh, Dan, that's Fantasia. Mm -hmm. They've evolved music. That's, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait, I, 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 I. And at some point, you get to choose what you want to play. I think. Cool. I don't know anymore. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> Oh, so if you want more stringy things, you can yeah. swipe it down there. Yeah, so at different points of the song, you get to affect the mix, you know, multiple times. You can kind of switch back to the standard one with some parts, or or just go in the full direction of one specific mix. Okay. You'll unlock those mixes and you go, right? Slapping boom in this one. I have spent 90% of this quick look expecting to get it anyway, so good. Don't good. feel bad if that happens. You can hear the little stringy things happening. You can hear the little stringy things happening. Yep. You you made that happen. Well, now we got to the end of the song. We might as well. <laughs> oh, the highfalutin mix. That's me. That was pretty highfalutin. I'll give him that. That was fairly highfalutin. All right. Vermillion? That's be good. Yeah. I'm saying a pinball game, so a million's probably pretty good. Mm hmm. What now? Only nine more songs until you unlock it. <laughs> Yep, all right. Whoa. I have never seen anyone pull something like that off. Seriously, how did you... 
Time out, sorry. <laughs> I'm Scout. I'm just so excited that my spell worked. I mean, you changed the song from the inside. That's huge. I couldn't get it to work, but you did. It, it must be all the power you've earned. Okay, we have to try that again. There's no telling what we can do now. Ah, this is gonna be so cool. I know exactly which song we need. There it is. Looks pretty special, right? We should play it. It's a long way off, but I bet you can reach it from here. Go ahead. Oh no. What is that? It's the bit from Tron. It's pissed. <laughs> we need to get Yen Sid. Now! Okay, all right. That tool tip that makes it seem like we might get to move around. Sounds like a world map of sorts. Um, Yen Sid, are you here? Oh, Yen Sid, where are you? I'm Audi 5000. I'm telling <laughs> you, this is bad. He oh. never leaves the workshop, ever. <laughs> Look at your California stuff. Yeah. I don't know what this is. <laughs> the noise. It's serious business. Come on. Kenson warned me about the noise. It's a chaotic force that smothers art and music. He always kept it at bay, but if he's not here, something really. Wait. Just wait. Hold on a second. What if you could fight the noise in the realms? I mean, you've uh -huh. got the hat. I do. I could stay here and try to fix the song. Maybe we can handle this ourselves. <laughs> or not. World threatening Either way, scenarios we've got to get to fixed work. with hats. I if found. you're gonna explore the realms, oh, we're for too. No, I mean, we're, like, about real it, problems in the real world. Never let hats are rarely the solution. Until now. <laughs> She really just give you the muse. Oh. Well, if you're going to have it, you might as well know how to use it properly, I suppose. Let me see. To guide the muse, hold one hand up in a relaxed fashion. Elbow slightly bent, palm towards the screen, as shown. You can move the muse in any direction. Up, down, yeah, okay, yeah. backwards, we got, forwards, we got, and all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. The music evolved too much, and it was suddenly telling me how to One work a connect cursor. One can only imagine what a cacophony <laughs> the noise is causing. <laughs> You'd better use the muse to I'm get sure to the I'm sure there'll be people that have never done this before, and it's probably in here for, a muse for some focus test the told them, like, people are stupid. Keep your hand <laughs> but I don't. It's the yeah, true. Then bring the other hand up to meet it. Pull them apart, and you'll zoom into the realm. You don't have to do that. Well, it might load faster. No, no. I used to think that when like a computer game was loading, you just move the mouse around all crazy, like, yeah, it's gonna jostle something. Yep, that's exactly how it works. Now we're going back to the underwater spot. There might be evil down there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, eradicate. The noise has infected this realm with its sonic rot. We'll need lots of magic and no small amount of luck to put it right. What you must do is... I'm talking. Go face it, I haven't a clue. This is beyond my pay grade. Wait, but the, the remix spell you discovered for Scout. Yes, some new music could help drown out the noise. Okay, right. First, we'll need to find a song. Try taking a step to your right and see if you can spot one. Get out of there. Is that, is that a song? That's probably a song. Ah, the song. See it? It looks like a star. Now, move what? the muse to the song. Oh. Cool. Bring your other hand up to meet the first. It's Mozart. Then spread them apart to zoom okay. in. So, yeah, I don't know. As you play the songs in the game, you unlock different stuff in the thing. I don't know, it's, we're good. It's Disney Fantasia. It's in stores now. There's a 360 version as well that I bet is totally 
the same thing because it's not like the Kinect movements are that dramatic that the old Kinect couldn't do it. Yeah. I feel like they spent a year demoing this game on an old Kinect and it worked just fine. Yep. So Use I've got the 360 version totally okay. Um, but yeah, that's Fantasia. It's on Xbox One. I don't know. Then use the switch key like, to I think it's mechanically cool, but after going through that stuff, I don't know that I ever want to play it I, ever again. I have so. not played it, and I can tell I, I don't want to. But hey, it's your thing. Have, have a blast. All right. See ya.